Come on, fella, look, you're just a little kid. You're a bad little kid by the looks of it. I want my mommy. Honey, uh, where is your mommy? She's dead. Come on, fella, have a heart. It's Christmas Eve here. Listen, you're not going to do anything about it. Oh, here, come come on. On. I don't have your stinking wallet. Listen, why don't you search her? It'll be the only way to satisfy this gentleman. No. No. Honey. Look, I'm sorry, but can you turn out your pockets for me, huh? Please. Open your coat. See? Nothing up my sleeve. See? Well, she must have dumped it. Look, sir, I believe you, but there's nothing we can do without the wallet. Nothing you can do. I pay your salary. Yeah, well, how about a raise? All right, everybody, <laughs> let's break it up. Time to go home. Have a good day. Merry Christmas. Hey, honey, you got some place where you can go to? Uh-huh. All right. You go home now, and don't you worry about that mean man, okay? Thank you, Mr. Police Officer. It's all right. Come on, Bill. What are you getting so upset about? Ah, come on. Come on. Hey, nice work. Here. Uh, How do we do? Um, not bad. Pretty good. I'm guessing the guy was 46. I say 43. Date of birth, 6, 5, 55. That means 42 and a half. Not bad, Patsy. <laughs> Whoa, nice picture, pal. Looks like you just stepped on something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Let's go find the mailbox. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me... A bike. A bike? Oh, you're very sure of yourself. And of Santa, too. Um, I know he'll bring me one. I asked him. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me... To what? Uh, some kind of bird. Some kind of bird and a bike. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me... Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Let's see, gas bill's covered. Just a little shy of the rent. I'll leave only $40 for the escape fund. Nope, 15. Need to stay out a little longer today. Aunt Trish? Yeah? If Santa sees me when I'm sleeping and when I'm awake, that means he sees me when I'm stealing, too, right? Well, honey, I don't think Santa minds, because what we do isn't really stealing. It isn't? No, we only take money from people who can afford it. We sort of help them share. But didn't they work for their money? We're working, too. We have a very highly developed skill that we've worked years to perfect. Now eat your chili dog. Wait a minute. Is that Uncle Mel? Oh, no. Damn. Let me see it. Oh, come on, let's go. Don't, don't talk. Just look ahead, eat, act normal. What happened to your hand? Just, I'll explain later. They're gone. 
How much are you into him this time? I don't know them anything. Uh-huh. They made an investment in my future, which unfortunately tanked. And this? Oh, I got uh, slammed in the door several times. How do they expect me to pay him back when I can't even plan my trade? Hmm? <sighs> How you doing, Patsy? <laughs> and, uh, you were looking very fine as usual? I'll go pay the bill. So, months go by, I don't hear from you. You move, you change your number. I'm thinking, maybe she's playing hard to get. Oh, that's right, Mel. I'm sitting by the phone looking at your picture. One more, I'm holding up the numbers. That's very nice. I gotta go. <laughs> so, you must be scoring big time, huh? Christmas Eve, the crowds. How about I borrow Patsy for uh, no. a few days? I, I can still work drops. Not that I'm strapped or anything, but, uh, you know, for uh, old time's sake. Old time's sake. Mel, you and I were an aberration. Oh, thanks. When I do think of our time together, it's with regret and disbelief that anyone, let alone me, could have been that long. So you do think about me. Goodbye, Mel. <laughs> Excuse me, are you looking for a weird guy in a cheapy Santa suit? Seen him? Hey! Don't touch guys in no pill! Mel, no, get back here! Wait! Come on. I'm sorry, I'm not really the piano player. Hey. Do these come in green? Hey, Bert, paint on the neck on Christmas Eve, huh? I got nothing else to do. Yeah. What about you? You gonna see your family? Uh, wife wants me home early. There's some Christmas movie on TV she wants to see. They're always so sappy. They should make a Christmas movie about guys like us. Now, that'd be a good movie. I'd stay home and watch a movie like that. Attention shoppers, for a limited time only, all housewares will be reduced an additional 10%. Don't miss our housewares sale. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'll bring you what you want. Hey, Bert, shoot anybody today? What, because I take my job seriously? Well, it wouldn't hurt you to lighten up a little. I'll lighten up? You want to know why this world's going down the drain? Because everybody's lightened up. Stolen handbag here, missing lipstick there. Oh, no big deal. Next thing you know, there's blood flowing in the streets. Well, not on my shift. We are the thin maroon line between morality and chaos in this store, and you want me to lighten up. Sanders and Golden. You guys are both working the 31st. Oh. Happy New Year. I don't mind people being jerks, except when they enjoy it so much. I got nothing else to do. Oh, excuse me. Good morning, Mr. Morning. Good morning, Good sir. morning. Uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Limber. Hi, Albert Sanders Security. I was wondering if you got that tape I sent you, sir. Yes, thanks, Sanders. Merry Christmas to you, no, too. No, no, it was a music tape, sir. It actually... It, oh. Excuse me. Hey, Mick. I got a possible, probably nothing, in handbags. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Limber. Good morning. Oh. My wife would just love that. Did that just come in? No, Mr. Lambert. It's been here all season. Really? Have they been selling well? Oh, they're selling very well. Let me take a look at that eight ounce. There you go, sir. You should move them to the front so they... Yes, sir. Let me just get a whiff of them. Mick, we got a lift and drop shaping up here. Female suspect for red coat and handbags, I'll stick with her. Second suspect's female, blonde hair, age approximately seven. Seven? That's right. You got her? She's in cosmetics. Yeah, but Bert, come on. Let me take a look at that thing. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have one of those. They are beautiful. Oh. Will you be paying for that, sir? Of course. The uh, store charge. My wallet. There. Okay. What? Let's, let's gotcha. Let's go. Okay. All right. Where is it? Hand no, it over. Don't. 
Don't worry, honey. Everything's gonna be all right. I promise. Like I said, I found the wallet on the floor. I was just picking it up. Right, and you? You're on your way to an Annie audition. Annie has red hair. <clears throat> Name. I don't have to answer anything, do I? It'll go a lot easier for you if you cooperate. Patricia Tracy. This is Patsy Tracy. Pat and Patsy, huh? That's that's cute. My sister named her after me. And where is your sister? Dead. Father. Might as well be. So you're the legal guardian. Yeah. Age. Six. Not her. You. 29. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? All right, I'm 30. I mean about the kid. I mean, what kind of a life is this for her? How, how, do, how do you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning? What's so special about your life, huh? I'm picking on people, just trying to make a living. You call this a living? It's a skill we've worked very hard to develop. Patsy. Thank you. Security. Right. They want him up in Limber's office. I'm glad you think so. Wait a minute, the police? Hey, Bert, how's your brother? How should I know, Jack? You see him more than I do. You're not actually gonna press charges, are you? Of course I am. Can't let people like you get away with things like this. Well, I didn't get away with anything. I found a wallet, and he got it back. Nobody got hurt. You didn't tell me there was a kid involved. That's a whole nother ball of wax. How you doing, sweetie? You know, I got a little girl about your age. Well, I better call social services. He's 48, don't you think, Aunt Trish? Uh, Are you 48? How'd you know that? Not now, honey. Single mother, I bet, on welfare. I've Actually, never sir, been she's... on welfare. Now, that's what's wrong with this world. I most certainly am pressing charges, young lady. And if I have my way, this child will be put into a good home with a good family, away from an influence like you. No! It's OK, honey. He can't do that. Oh, I can, and I will. But you're a real prince, aren't you? Nah, this isn't working. Nobody's answering. They've already left for the holidays. Look, I take them in now. They're gonna split them up. The little girl stays in custody over Christmas. Is that what you want? Look, I don't care what happens to me, but please don't do this to her, okay? You want my advice? We all look the other way and they walk. Uh, it is Christmas, sir. Well, no one can say A.E. Limber doesn't get into the Christmas spirit. Officer, come back at 9 o'clock the day after Christmas. You can arrest them then. What? Mr. Limber, uh, that's... How are you gonna get them to show up? Ask him real nice? Well, one of my employees will look after him. You. Me? Uh, Mr. Limber. Make sure they're here Friday morning. Stay with them over the holiday. Here? In the store. That's ridiculous. No, no, we wouldn't expect you to do that. Take them home with you. Uh, Just a minute. Now, Mr. Mr. Limber, with all due respect, sir, it is a holiday and, and... Yes, yes, you'll be paid holiday salary, union mercenaries. Uh, I'm not talking about the money here, Mr. Limber. I, if you don't mind my saying so, I think it is a little above and beyond. You can say that again. Pruitt. Yes, sir. Is this man seasonal or permanent? Permanent, sir. Well, I'd like to see him stay that way. Understand? You can't do this. I refuse to go home with anybody. Now, these are your options, young lady. Either you go home with Mr. Sanders, sir. Sanders, or you can both go to jail right now. This stinks. If I knew any lawyers, I'd, I'd call every one of them, twice. Very well. See everyone here at 9 o'clock, December 26th. Merry Christmas. This stinks. Merry Christmas. Jeez, Bert. How's your check? Swell, just swell. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, what are you planning to do with those? I promise you, we're not gonna run away. Yeah, and I believe in Santa, too. So do I. Okay, what'll it take? A hundred bucks? Three hundred? We walk that way, you look that way. You think everyone could be bought, huh? I'm not for sale. Okay, lost wages, pain and suffering, five thousand bucks. Take it and let us go. You make that kind of money picking pockets? Wow. Does that mean you'll take it? 
No, no, this is a matter of principle involved here. So you're gonna put a six-year-old in handcuffs? And a 29-year-old, too. Not too tight, please. I bruise. All right, all right. You promise not to run away? I promise. Not to run away. We're not gonna run away. Promise. I promise. Thanks, this is my collar. Tough guy. I swear to God, come Friday morning, I'm gonna sue you and your store and everybody. How's your nose? He looks like Rudolph. Where are we going? My place. It's a few blocks from here. No, 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 no. We are not spending the night in a strange apartment without at least getting Patsy's PJs and toothbrush. Yeah, and I can't sleep without Mr. Peeps. Mm -hmm. All right, we go to your place, we pick up a few things. All right, and come we... on. OK, I'm coming. You don't have to. Oh, 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 oh. If we run, we can catch a taxi around the corner. Yeah, why don't we walk and catch a bus? Come on. Taxi. Bus. I don't understand. If Santa lives in the North Pole, how can he live in Maplewood, too? I think he just keeps an office there. Oh. You're not even sorry for what you did, are you? For picking pockets, trying to run away, or almost breaking your nose. Take your pick. Well, I'm sorry we got caught, if that's what you mean. Christmas is supposed to be a time of compassion. Don't you feel the least bit sorry for us? Look, lady, you choose a life of crime, you gotta take the consequences. A life of crime? I'm not a member of the Gambino family here. We just pick a few pockets of people who can afford it. We never steal from the poor. We only take cash, not credit cards. And we mail the walls back right away. Oh, you sure have her brainwashed. Don't you feel awful using a little kid like this? She does not use me, and my brain is not washed. It's all right, honey, settle down. Well, he shouldn't say that about you. I've heard worse. Great. Now Patsy will never get her operation. What do you, her operation? What do you? There's a specialist in Berlin who thinks he can help her, but it's very expensive. Are you? No, you're not. Are you? Come on, really. No, no, don't. She gets self-conscious. You think I would do this otherwise? Oh, you're so full of it. You. But you have the I had you going. <laughs> Can you take these off now, please? You want my trust, aren't it? Oh, ye of little faith. Hey, can you help me out with some spare change? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, Let it's me... Christmas Here you go, partner. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, cute, cute. <laughs> You want to uncuff me now? <laughs> that was good. You did that. Nice, nice. Great place to raise a kid. Wow. This is very nice. What'd you do, steal all this stuff, too? We're not burglars, we're pickpockets. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Patsy, we can only stay a few minutes, honey. Why don't you uh, get your bathroom stuff, okay? And something to wear tomorrow. Oh, Aunt Trish, I just thought of something. How's Santa gonna find us? He won't know where to put my bike. And if our stockings are here... Don't worry, honey, Santa will find us. He knows everything. Why don't you get our stockings down, okay? We'll take those. Okay. Mr. Sanders, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh. 
All right, look, Albert. Bert, please, nobody calls me Albert. All right, Bert. Don't you get it? This might be our last Christmas together. Come Friday, they're going to take her away from me. I'm sorry, lady. The law is a law. Look, I know I've made some mistakes with her. I admit that. And if I'm sorry about anything, it's... All right, how's this? You stay here. That way you can keep an eye on us and we still get to have Christmas. No. I got plans tomorrow, and you're staying at my apartment, and that's all there is to it. <sighs> all right. All right, then, Buster. You tell me. What am I supposed to do about this? Any ideas about how we're going to sneak that uptown without her noticing? Well, we can't. You're just going to have to leave it here. <sighs> Jeez. I've met some major league Scrooges in my time, but you, mister, are the Scroogiest. Come on, let's go. Hey, 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 come on. I'm not joking around. If you don't come out of here. <laughs> I'll be very angry! You promised! Patsy, tell her to come out of there. She promised. Hi, this is Trish. Leave a message. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I got your answering machine. This is your voice. I got your number. I know where you live. I'm on my way over. I need a favor. I know you won't let me down. You're right, we promised. You're very odd. Hey, taxi! Thank you. Hey, Mac, 55 Broom Street, please. Uh, it's gonna cost a fortune. I don't see why we couldn't take a bus. Well, you're making double time on account of a splurge. Okay, I got your number now, lady. Give me the keys. What? The keys to your place. That way, even if you do get away, you got no place to go. I'm on to you, pal. Police Academy turned you down, right? How did you know that? Did, did one of the guys at no. work tell you that? Uh, I'm right? Let's just drop it, all right? That's certainly Just drop it. That... Touch the nerve much. All right, let's go. Get inside. Wow, this place is huge. You live here all by yourself? Yep. Why am I not surprised? You don't have lots of furniture, and you don't have a tree either. Are you Jewish? No, I just didn't feel like getting a tree this year. Why not? I just, I just didn't, okay? Aunt Trish, he didn't get a tree. I know, honey. All right, we've established the fact that I have no furniture and I have no tree. For this, I'm sorry. I do have some sheets, however, and I'm going to get them. Excuse me. So even if Santa does find us, he'll just turn around and leave. Well, he does have a fireplace. Here, why don't you hang up our stockings? Okay. I only got one extra pillow. I'll go without. I deserve to be punished. Look, I'm not trying to pick a fight here. We're both stuck with this, so why don't we try and make the best of it? Here. When did she leave you? She didn't leave me. We parted. Amicably. Is that why you're mad at the world? I'm not mad at the world, just a very small part of it. And what's his name? You think you know so much, huh? Lenny. His name's Lenny Burmeister. He's a king of the cellular phones. He wasn't stuck in a go-nowhere job. Life wasn't passing him by. Well, at least you're not bitter. I'm not. All right, yes, I am. But I, I can't let her see that. Why not? Because, look, I don't want to have this conversation with you, all right? Because you figure she might come back, but not if you act like a jerk. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Albert? Bert. Bert, let me give you some advice. She's not coming back. 
So go ahead and act like a jerk and sleep on the whole bed. Ramen, ramen, peanut butter, ramen. I guess this means you can actually boil water. You mean you're supposed to cook these things? Come on, Patsy. We'll go get some groceries. No, no, I'll go. What? What about us? I'll lock you in. Are you kidding? What if there's a fire and we have to get out or something? How can there be a fire? He doesn't have a Christmas tree. All right, we'll all go, OK? But how do I know you're not going to try and run away again? Our toothbrushes are in your bathroom. <laughs> Do, do we need all this stuff? She's a growing girl. Well, how much growing could you possibly do in two days? <gasps> oh, steak. I haven't had a steak in ages. No, no, it's too expensive. Oh, go on. Life's miserable enough as it is. Treat yourself. Once oh, in a that's while. a nice philosophy. Well, forgive me if I'm not feeling very optimistic tonight. Oh, rhubarb look, they've pie. got. You like rhubarb pie? I love it. It's very hard to find. I know. With or without whipped cream? Without. Huh. Grocery shopping is foreplay. Yeah, she's probably picking his pocket. <laughs> so, how, how'd you get started doing what you do? I mean, how'd you learn to... My highly developed skill? Yeah. Picking pockets wasn't exactly my career of choice. It sort of chose me. I had a good teacher, a guy named Mel. No. Mel. Oh, well. And what happened Mel was? He dared me. He sort of showed me how to do it, and then the danger excited me. So I tried it once, twice. <laughs> and then when my sister died and I took Patsy in, I had to support her somehow, so. Yeah, I don't buy that. You know, other people support their kids without stealing. Yeah, other people have marketable skills. You're attractive and you're smart. There's a lot of jobs you could do. <sighs> and I've done them all. Waitressing, temp work, telemarketing. There's nothing to be ashamed there except for the telemarketing. Uh, Whoa. want to know the truth? I'm good at picking pockets, and it pays well. Thanks for finally being honest. I promised Ellen I'd take care of her. Patsy deserves to have a good life, and I'd do anything to give it to her. And you know what? We're going to quit soon. We've been saving money to buy a little house in a good neighborhood, garden. You don't believe me? No, I do. Sounds great. I'm going to go find Patsy. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh, here you go. That and that. What? Um, one more moment. No! Wait, no! Wait. Ah! Excuse me. That's, that's, that's funny. You, you stay there. There. you you like your job ah uh, yeah it's all right you know I didn't get up in front of the third grade and tell him I wanted to be a security guard but you did want to be a cop though right like your dad picture in your living room yeah that was him my brother Bill's on the force my uncle Don and my cousin Frank and now my sister's in the academy wow if you don't mind my asking marksmanship I got an astigmatism in my right eye throws off my depth perception. That's what stood between me and my badge. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> you win some, you lose more, huh? Patsy? <laughs> Honey, what is it? What's the matter? I want my own house and my own bed and my own Christmas tree. Yeah. Well, if we
we get you your own Christmas tree? Will that make you feel better? Uh, uh, excuse me, Miss Tracy. Can I get talk to you over here for a minute, please? <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing offering the kid a tree? This place is closed. It'll be easy. I'll just climb over and get her one. No, no. You can't do that. You're right. I can't. It's too high. You'll have to do it. No way. I am not breaking the law in my neck. So, no way. No way. Oh, okay. Sorry to disappoint you, Patsy. No Christmas tree this year. That's all right. I'll just take this home and decorate it. It'll be fine. All right, all right. I'll do it. Can you hold these, please? Sure. Well, maybe if you took a running start. OK. Here we go. And. Oh! Are you hurt? No. How can I possibly hurt myself throwing my family jewels full force up against a freezing metal fence? Good, as long as you're not hurt. Uh, uh, all right. I got it. I got it. Uh, uh, I got it. I'm fine. Uh, okay. Which one? This one? No, that one. That one, that's different, a green one with branches. <gasps> when I was a kid, I could tell the breed of a dog from his bark. And? I think you better hurry. Oh, OK. All right. Oh, oh, oh. That's not the one I meant. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, freeze. Could somebody possibly do something to help me? Do something? Quick! Quick! Uh, uh, shoo! What? Say something! Uh, sit! I, uh, that dog! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, good. That's it. That's working very well. Well, maybe I should get a cop. What? No, I'm gonna have to explain what I'm doing up here. This is a life of crime. You gotta take the consequences. Oh, party horror! Oh. 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 Do something! Quick, quick! Here, doggy, doggy! Hey, kid, that's my $7 steak! <laughs> I think it's pretty darn clever. It's not the right tree, but it's certainly better than this. <laughs> uh, funny. Hey, Bert? Yeah? Come look. Hey, how'd you get this thing going? Oh, I had to clean it out. It's filthy. Are you kidding me? The whole time I lived here, I never knew that thing worked. What is this limber jingle? No, Music don't, and lyrics don't. by Bert please, Sanders? Please, it's just, it's a hobby. Huh? I gotta do this. See what's in store for you at Limburg. It's not bad. No, you really think so? Are they going to use it? No, no I, I gave it to Mr. Limber, but uh, hold on. Listen, I got one. Listen to this. Say 
goodbye with dignity. Prepaid funerals are specialty. <laughs> At Ackerman's mortuary. Well, Mr. Ackerman said it was it was informative yet sensitive, but he didn't buy it. Do you ever write anything longer? What's the matter with writing jingles? Nothing. I'm just saying you're obviously talented. Maybe you should stretch yourself a little. Oh, this from Miss I Have No Skills. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Mr. Pruitt, yes, sir. Yes, sir, here. <laughs> well, uh, sir, I think that's, that's uh, an unreasonable request. No, I haven't forgotten what he said. I... I Hey, I told you I'd have him there, didn't I? All right. Goodbye. Merry Christmas to you, too. Can you believe that? He wanted me to keep you locked in all day tomorrow. I'm not going to, don't worry. You were before. Yeah, but now we got a tree and there might be a fire or something. I better, uh, good night, Merry Christmas. Spend some time apart for a while. But maybe if Santa could talk to Mr. Linda and tell him that we promised not to do it ever again, he would have to let you stay with me, wouldn't they? Maybe they would. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait and see, okay? Okay. Let's get into the covers. Mr. Peeps is getting cold. I'll tell you about her. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Well, she had freckles right here and brown hair just like yours. And a ponytail. Uh-huh. When we were kids, she always wore it in a ponytail right there. Never in the middle, always crooked. It drove your oh grandma nuts. nuts. Right. Mm -hmm. Aunt Trish, mm -hmm. I won't let them take you away, okay? Get up. Look. Patsy, she's gone. What? Yeah, she's gone. What do you gone. mean she's, she's gone? Well, she left cookies out for Santa. Nobody ate them. She must have been upset. She, she must took, have... She, she took the keys to your place. <sighs> the bike. She went to see if Santa left it in the department. Oh, we should have... I told you we should have brought it back here. Well, how was I supposed to know? Because I told you. 
No, you didn't. It's my fault all of a sudden? Well, of course. Whose fault do you think it is? Yours. She's too old to believe in this stuff for one thing, and for another thing, if you did... You shut up and put on your pants. She probably took a bus. If we get a cab, we can still be there. Oh, that's a good idea. Occasionally, they dribble through. Oh. Hey, hey. Taxi! <laughs> okay, hey, we see Grandma, huh? Check the apartment. Thanks. I'm gonna look down here. Betsy! What? Santa Rosa! I don't think it was Santa, honey. Not the real one, anyway. I can't believe this. A Santa? Yeah. Santa, Santa, Santa. Hey! Hey! Hey, stop! Get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay, 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 okay. Let go again. What? My hand, my hand, my hand. Oh. Oh. You're ow, mine. Ow, ow, okay, ow. All right, buddy, you're mine. Okay, okay this is how, this is, this, this is the kind of Shut up. Shut up. Hang on to him. I got him. Mel. Mel? Mel? This is Mel? Merry Christmas. How could you? Hey, I asked for your help. You said no, so. Well, that was her, our stuff. How could you do that? Look, so I borrowed a few things. I'll pay you back. I'm this, good for it. This, this is the famous Mel. And who are you? Oh, Trish. <laughs> I mean, I know it's hard to top me, but come on. This is the guy you went out with him? This is your boyfriend. You're such an improvement. Well, we're not together well, right now. Just... At least he's... he's... Stable? Yeah, stable. Oh, stable. That's nice. And he wouldn't steal from me. You bet I wouldn't. Oh. What? What? You think, you think you're something special to her? She sees you, she sees an all-day sucker. Mel! I slept in, had a nice leisurely breakfast. I watched some TV. Sounds boring. I just can't believe that was Mel. I mean, I'm picturing David Niven in an ascot. This guy's a psycho. And I think you went out with him. Can we drop the subject, please? It was a long time ago. I was lonely. He was there. It was a mistake. All I'm saying is, is you're better off. You should be with somebody nicer. I mean, somebody... Stable? Worst things could happen to you. Thanks for playing along with me about being my boyfriend. Maybe it'll keep him off my back for a while. At your service. Betsy, honey, what's wrong? He didn't call me because I'm fat, because I stole. No, honey. Oh, honey, no. He no. didn't call me because I'm a fat girl. Oh, no. Hey, Patsy, listen to me. Listen to me. There's sometimes people do things that aren't always good. That doesn't make them bad people. You're a good little girl, and Santa knows that, I'm sure. Why did he come? Probably just a mix-up. Santa was confused because we weren't home. Yeah, that's probably it. We'll get it straightened out. Don't worry about it. 
Look, there's a man over there selling necklaces. Somebody's gonna have to go get one. Thanks. <laughs> Look, anything I said to you yesterday, that was before I saw how you are with her, and I'm sorry. Oh, well. Thanks. It's kind of nice having a kid around, you know? It makes it seem more like Christmas. It makes you feel like there's some hope, you know? Like once a year, God decides to give the world another shot at it. Yeah, and everybody deserves a second chance, right? Look, Uncle Bert. Isn't it neat? Oh, pretty. That's great. Put it on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for it to feel like Christmas, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, for me, it usually starts after Thanksgiving when they're putting the decorations up in the store. And then it comes to a screeching halt when I go visit my family. <gasps> I'm supposed to be at my mom's in a couple hours. Uh, I'm gonna call and cancel. You're gonna miss Christmas dinner? What am I supposed to do? Lock you up while I go to Maplewood? Maplewood, that's where Santa's castle is. Aunt Tristan, she would take me there. Real soon, maybe even the day after Christmas. Mm. If we're not, you know. Can we go to your mom's with you? Patsy, that's rude. You don't invite yourself places. <laughs> Can we go to your mom's with you? Please? Isn't it, Patsy? Yes, nice. I love it. Yeah, I grew up here. Cute's not what I remember. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh sweetie. Christmas. Oh, what's this? Mm, perfume. perfume. Oh, and who's this? You didn't tell me you were bringing a lady friend. Uh, it's all happened so fast. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Trish. Hi. Nice to meet you. Bert's told us all about you. Oh, that's very sweet, but I know you're lying. He never talks about me. <laughs> and who's this? Patsy, and I bet you are 61. Oh, well, you know, you're a smart little girl. Oh, you know what? You're just one year off. Okay, now. Come on in, everybody. <laughs> Whoa, what a neat tree. Do you like it? Oh, that's the one we brought in from Italy a long time ago. Your dad was a sergeant, huh? Yeah, 25 years on the force. You must have been quite a guy. Yep, full-time cop, part-time dad. <laughs> Your brother's around somewhere. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you. <clears throat> you see how we thread that through like that? Is that the way you do it on your Christmas tree? Yeah, on the one Bert stole for us. Don't roll, watch your back! Oh, okay, Bill! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bill, 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 Bill this, this, is, this is my friend Trish. This is my brother Bill. Uh, you with him? Get out of here. Don't I know you from someplace? No, I don't think so. Limbers. You ever hang around Limbers? That's my beat. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah. Bird? Eggnog? Excuse me. I, I can't believe this. You're working a lift and drop in front of my brother of all the cops in this town? You're related to half of them. All right, all right. Let's just think this through. Okay, we can't leave now because it just get more suspicious. <laughs> what if he recognizes Don't worry about it. He's not the brightest bulb in the chandelier, if you know what I mean. One, two, three. Mindy makes four. Damn it, I lost count again. Funny you didn't mention you were bringing somebody. Oh, short notice. They got no place to go. Who are you? Merry Christmas, everybody! I brought the eggnog. Hey, oh, hey, Merry yeah, Christmas for you. Uh, I can't Hi, my favorite woman. Hey, brother. Oh. 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 Let me see Aunt Trish. Mindy, did you meet Trish and her niece Patsy? It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. You know, you look familiar. 
Thank you, but you don't. Why don't you go play by the tree, honey? Where is it? <clears throat> um. Trish, can you grab this bowl, hon? Sure. Help me with these flowers. I'd love to. Hey, never mind the flowers. When do we eat around here? Uncle Don, would you like to say grapes? Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub and God bless the 29th precinct. Amen. Unbelievable. Oh, let's go. Oh, dig in. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mom, you know what? That is a really beautiful arrangement. I've never seen you do anything like that before. Well, that's because Trish did it. Okay. Really? Good. Well, You're very talented. Thank you. Cast the broccoli. Hey, you want gravy? Save room for pie, everyone. Uncle rhubarb. Dom. You made him rhubarb pie? What are you talking about? It's my turn this year. You got chocolate last year. Oh, boys, it's Christmas. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Wow, ah, what do you say? You know, Aunt Trish, Bert's mom said that Santa's castle is only a few blocks from here. Hmm. It's a shame you've never been. <laughs> so, you two met at the store. Uh, first floor, handbags. It was very romantic. Bert just dragged me right off. I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Isn't that right, honey? Yeah. Yes, dear. No broccoli. We're gonna have thanks. turkey for days. Pass the rolls, will you? No dear? more of that. Mm. Can I get some yams? Love this combination of the carrots. Mindy, what's on my plate? Could you pass me the salt. Yeah, I'll take a roll. Hey, everyone, Mindy has a big announcement. Well, I made it through the academy. Maybe a cop. Hey, 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 congratulations! Hey. Well, that's 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 great. <laughs> that's really nice. Yeah. Hey, my sister. Congratulations, honey. I'm gonna mess you at the store, sweetie. I just had a thought. Trish can take my place. Hmm? I mean, you obviously have a knack for it. That's a, good That's idea. a great idea. That. Trish, quit handbags. Come work for us. <laughs> what? Yeah, Mom, Mom and uh, Mindy, they have a flower shop. Well, I... Come on. I don't think that I'm really what you're looking for. What? What are you talking about? Don't sell yourself short. Mom, she's great with people. Bert. And she's artistic, too. You should see what she did with her apartment. I mean, it looks like a million bucks, right? Yeah, and she's really good with her hands. <laughs> think about it, Trish. The money's not great, but it's a fun place to work. Well, thank you, but our plans are kind of day-to-day -day right now, you know? Well, who knows? So, uh, Mindy, you, uh, passed marksmanship and everything, huh? Top 5%. Maybe she wanted it more. Look, it's a medical condition, all right? Boys. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for some people, it could be that being a police officer isn't the most important thing in the world. It's just a thought. Hmm. Don't let this one get away. That's exactly what my boss said. <laughs> hey, um, Mindy, congratulations. I'm happy for you, really. Hey, listen, I'm gonna go down to the Billy Club, meet some of the guys. Why don't you come along? Bring Trish with you. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Sure, uh, go ahead. I'll take care of Patsy. Uh... What kind of place is open on Christmas? It's always open, as long as guys are off duty. Off duty? You mean cops? <laughs> Great. You remember my little brother? Yeah, of course. How you doing? Hey, Ninja. And this is his girl, Trish. Hi. Hey, listen, you want to sit with us, have a beer? No, no, we're going to go to the bar. Thank you. Go. All right. You know what I think? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. I think you're not being a cop is probably the best thing that ever happened. Uh, hey, Bert. I thought it was you. How you doing? Hey, Dad. This guy tell you used to work here playing piano? No. So, how's everything? How's Monica? Yeah, uh, you're going to have to ask her that. How indelicate of me, huh? Don't worry. 
You better off. Two beers, huh? Yeah, sir. Sure. He's right. Her leaving was the second best thing. But I shouldn't tell you how to run your life. No one's ever written a song about me. Let's see. What rhymes with Trish? Mm, dish, fish, knish. Thanks a lot. It's very flattering. I guess you could always pick pockets. I'm just kidding, okay? In a way, in a, in a very small way, I'm actually fascinated with what you do. I know I'm sorry. I no, don't be, but... be sorry. It is fascinating. And it's easier than you think. Here. OK. <clears throat> you can practice on me. Give me your wallet. I'll give it back. All right. You be you. I'll be the mark. Try to pick my pocket. But you know I'm here. I'll look the other way. I'll tell you if I feel anything. OK, whenever you're ready. <laughs> no. <laughs> Try again. No. Nope. Better. Try again. Do you feel anything? Yeah. Do you? Got it. No! <laughs> no, no. Fair. What? That doesn't count. Of course count. it's fair. We're just no. No. Attention, attention, everyone. Special Christmas treat for you. My little brother, Albert Sanders. Yeah. All right. Stop being a cop, huh, Bill? Well, I just want to make sure you know what you're getting into. Whoever does, huh? I know what I'm doing. This is nice. I actually feel like, you know, you're concerned about me. Yeah. What's that? I'm, I'm not going to look down. You got yourself <laughs> and a I'm big telling spot you, right I'm, on I'm your not shirt. looking down. Hey, you're going to walk around like a jerk, I'm telling you. <laughs> I just want you to be careful. That's all. Got it? Frosty or Rudolph? Rudolph by nose. <laughs> Sausage or pepperoni? Uh, anchovies. Oh, me too. Good. <laughs> paper or plastic? Uh, paper. Swiss cheese or cheddar? Cheddar. Petunias or daisies? Daisies. Uh, Beatles or stones? Beatles. Thank God. <laughs> OK. Blue, brown, or hazel? Uh, blue. <laughs> OK, so Monica's eyes were blue? I can't remember. Good answer. Thank you. Shh. What? Hear it? Christmas. Just got here. Feel it? Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. What? Come on. What? Come on. <laughs> Where are you going? You'll see.
His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Mom? <laughs> Mom? Yeah? Hey, Patsy, go put your coat on. Can I borrow the car? Sure, the keys are in the kitchen. Where are we going? Santa's castle! What? Thank you. Patsy, don't get too excited. It's Christmas Day, it's late. Santa's probably very tired. No, but I know he'll be there. What? Why are you so upset? I thought this would make you happy. I don't want to set her up for disappointment. Oh, that's a nice attitude to have. You're the one who said Christmas just arrived. And you're making me leave. Hurry up, I want to see Santa. Sorry, Patsy. I'm really sorry. Come on. Hey, where you going? Santa, is that you? Uh, can I help you? We um, we want to see Santa. Well, we're we're closed. Uh, Santa's asleep. Asleep? Hey, you had a big day. But I need to talk to him. My name is Patsy Tracy, and it's about my bike. Oh, Patsy. Did he tell you about me, how he couldn't find us? Uh, come on, we gotta go. Uh, no, it's okay, it's Patsy. Tell you what I'm gonna do, Patsy. Uh, you haven't been here before, have you? Mm -mm. I don't remember seeing you. So, why don't you come on in and look around? Well, my name's David. I'm kind of the head elf around here. You're awfully tall for an elf. That's why I'm the head elf. Let me get some lights here. Wow. You like that? Check this. Oh. <laughs> Kids really like this part. <laughs> I like it too. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to keep your voices down as we pass through this area, because this is the actual bedroom door. Santa's sleeping in there. Right. What, you don't believe me? No, no I, I, I do. Oh yeah, that's abundantly clear. Okay, whoever wants hot chocolate, raise your hand. Okay, is that with a marshmallow? Mm-hmm. Okay. So tell me, Patsy, uh, did you visit Santa this year? Uh, not the real one, just the one at Limber's. He's the, uh, the tall guy, right, with the bad glasses? <laughs> yeah. There you go. And uh, you asked him for a... Bike. Right. But Santa didn't bring it. Well, were you a good girl? Um, oh, we think it was just a mix-up. Uh, she spent the night away from home. See, he didn't really answer my question. Um, and sooner or later, everybody, kids, grown-ups, everybody has to answer that question. So, were you good or were you bad? You just think about it. You don't have to tell me right now. And just remember, Santa believes in second chances. Okay, uh, let's see what we can discover in the big book. Right this way, please. Patsy Tracy, huh? Is that two Y's? Mm -mm. P-A-T-S-Y, one Y. T-R-A-C-Y. Mm -hmm. Double Y. Patsy, Patsy Tracy. Here we go. Ooh. Patsy, uh, you were right. Not at home, one bike undelivered. See, he did try, Aunt Trish, you were right. He did. 
Does that mean I still get my bike? I have a pretty strong feeling you will. But uh, sometimes Santa needs a little help. I tell you what, why don't we write him a note just to remind him? Hmm? You owe me one bike. Yeah, you son of a Love. Oh, that part is good. Cat. Please meet me. Mm -hmm. I'm 30. Mm -hmm. At Lambers tomorrow morning. They're gonna try to take Aunt Trish away. Maybe Santa can help. Okay. Well, why don't you slip that under Santa's door? Christmas. Can you make sure they get that? Sure. Thanks, Ernie. And a happy new year. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ma'am, ma'am, I, I, I apologize. I am. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Santa's day. I never in my life. the nicest thing anybody has ever done for her. Um, I barred your shirt. I hope you don't mind. No, no, I don't. You have to promise me one thing. Of course. You'll turn us in tomorrow. What? I'm gonna kiss you now. And I don't want you to think it's just because I'm trying to get you not to turn us in. So why are you? Don't you want to kiss me? It's crossed my mind once or twice, yeah. 
So then promise me. You'll turn us in otherwise. I'm not going to kiss you. No. No, don't, don't joke about it. I decided I'm, I'm not turning you in. But what about your job? It's a lousy job. Getting fired from that job will be the third best, fourth best thing that's ever happened to me. Listen, Bert, I'm ready for this to be over. Like that guy said tonight, sooner or later, you have to answer the question. Patsy belongs in a nice home somewhere. She is in a nice home. I've used her. You said it. That, that, that was before. Before what? Look, can we talk about this tomorrow? Take it to the park later. No, but we have to go see Mr. Limber. We need to talk about that. <sighs> but I gave the note to Santa and he's gonna meet us there. I'm sure you will, honey. I'm gonna take a shower, okay? And we'll go to the park later. I think Santa'll understand if our plans change a little bit. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Ho, 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 little darling, where are you going so early? None of your business. Oh, Kate, okay. that's how you want it. Hey, not my bike. How am I going to run to Limbers? Limbers? How about that? That's exactly where I'm going. Ah! Come on. Go on, Nick. Sure, it'll be fun. Come on. I have to be there by nine. Okay, then we'll leave the bike and run. Bert! Hey, Mel, take it easy. Run away. Inside. Stand in the so, she does this a lot, I take it. Only since she met you. Oh, so now it's my fault. If you hadn't have gotten all googly-eyed... I did not get googly-eyed. And if you would have told her that I wasn't turning you in today... Well, okay. Forget it, Mel. I'm not gonna do it. I promise. Now listen, Patsy. You do like I asked, or your Aunt Trish is in big trouble. I don't want to hurt her, but I will. And then I'll buy you a puppy, and I'll hurt the puppy, too. Hmm? Let's find your first mark. Face, I got something kind of odd here. Is there a Santa working today? Not that I know of. Would you like to try a new fragrance? No. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. This one. Okay. Tell Peru we got them. They're in the store. Okay, there's your mark. I want that purse. It's filled with cash. I can smell it. The lady in brown, you make the uh, lift. I'll be waiting in cosmetics for the Oh, Mel. Your attention, little shoppers. All the are now 50 to 75% off. Don't forget our whole Patsy, what are you doing here? Are you by yourself? Are you in trouble? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Well, let's go someplace and you can tell me all about it. We'll go to the coffee shop. Nothing so bad that a cup of hot chocolate won't help. Damn it! What is she doing? They're in the store, Mr. Pruitt. Okay, that's great. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, just in sir. time, sir. They're downstairs. This is Miss Nichols from Social Services. Miss Nichols. 
The dear child is only six years old. Now you have to get her away from that woman before she turns her into a full-fledged criminal as well. Oh, don't worry, sir. We know how to take care of it. Good. You found her. No, not yet. You're right. It's all my fault. I never should. If I just, if I just should have just looked away. No, it's my fault. If I hadn't gotten her into this. No, then I never would have met you. All right, it's your fault that I love you. No, no, it's not. It's my what? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> all right, it's your fault that I love you. I, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I, I'm, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Okay. And so I asked Hannah to meet me here. I thought he could talk to Mr. Limber and explain everything, but he didn't show up. I'm sure he wanted to. Patsy? Oh, don't ever do that again. <sighs> Mrs. Sanders, what are you doing here? Well, first I returned a handbag, then we had some hot chocolate, and Patsy told me everything. Everything? Everything. Don't worry. I called Bert's brother. It's all going to be fine. There they are. All right, everybody. Where's Sanders? Where's Santa? He needs to talk to Mr. Limber. Patsy. All right, take him upstairs. And if you see Bert, hold on to him. Come on, let's go. Go. sitting here like chumps and she's out there having a good laugh over it. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Admit it, she played you like an accordion. I've been there, pal. You're just another in a long line of losers. Hey, who... I don't like the accordion and I don't like you. And you're talking about the woman I love, so knock it off before I break your other hand. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'm never shopping here again. But... I'm here to pick up the Santa. He's all yours. Hey, I didn't do anything, okay? I did not. You got the forms for me to sign? Forms? What forms? The forms. Come on, man. What do I have to do? Your job and my job. You... Nobody sent Give me the form. I need the form. Mr. Limber, I asked Sarah to meet me here, but I guess he was too busy to come. So I'm going to tell you. I'm sorry we stole, and it's bad, but we promised never to do it again. Right, Aunt Trish? That's right. So, I really want to stay with my Aunt Trish, please. Well, that's very praiseworthy, little lady. And an admission of guilt is laudatory, but there's a principle here. Miss Nichols. No, but Sam is all said he would have be to go here. Now. Yeah. No, I don't want to. She's four, don't you think, Aunt Trish? Um, play! No. Yes! Not now. Play! No, 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 yes. no, we can't play. Yes! No! 
They're right. You'll be better off somewhere else for a while with somebody who can help you be good. I've tried, honey, but nobody can take the place of your mom. But I promise I'm going to work real hard to get you back, and then nobody's going to ever be able to separate us ever again, okay? Miss Nicholas. I promise. No! Saunders! Mr. Limber, I won't let this happen. You won't? What is the meaning of this? How dare you come in? Mr. Limber, two days ago, I was just like you. I always thought the worst about people. And then something happened to me. Christmas! That's right. And I realized that people aren't so bad. And some of them, some of them are, are wonderful. If you give them half a chance. This woman is a common criminal. I'm not talking just about her. Anyone can change, Mr. Limber, even me. All my life, I've been trying to do what other people have wanted me to do. And now I know what I want. I want to write songs. I want to play the piano. And I want you. I love this woman, Mr. Limber, and I want to marry her. So I'm appealing to everything that's decent in you. Please, let him go. Sentimental hogwash. Now take... Finally, officer, arrest this woman. Mr. Limber, can we talk? Now, you're a parent, aren't Pruitt, you? Pruitt, who is this woman? I have no idea. Well, actually, I'm his mother and his mother. And Trish, Miss Tracy, works for me in my flower store. So I know that she wouldn't do anything wrong. And if you could see... Officer, her... I've signed the complaint. Now, do your duty. Sorry, Bert. Season's greetings, everyone. Mr. Limber. I'm David Elfman, and I believe that my clients are being held against their will. Your clients? His clients. I knew he'd be here. I've spoken with your Mr. Benjamin. Our attorney, now I understood. Technically, yes, everything you've done is legal. However, should we elect to sue? <laughs> A little girl, big corporation, throw in Christmas, throw in Santa. Frankly, Mr. Limber, you have to ask yourself, is it worth the publicity? Well, I... well that's exactly what Mr. Benjamin said. But you make the decision for yourself. I would. Ah, uh, of course, of course. Take a moment. Santa couldn't make it, sweetheart, but he knows what you did, and he's very proud of you. Thanks. My clients have agreed. They signed a waiver of liability. You drop the charges. Yes, yes, all right. Yes, That's yes, please, yes. Uh, what do we do with Santa? Tell him, honey. This is the guy you want. He orchestrated the whole operation. So prove it, you got nothing on me. My wallet, it's gone again. What are you looking at? Search the Santa. Well, I don't know about any... Hey, hey. What? Oh, that's, no, no, that's not your wallet. That's, no, 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 that's, this isn't, no, 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 no. You see, that's, that's my wallet. That's it. Come that on. was my wallet. Let's go. Good. Trish, Trish, just don't want to do this to me. For old time's sake. Officer, that's the same man who robbed my apartment. You want to press charges? Well, everybody deserves a second chance. Except him. Bye, Mel. I'm not coming here, even for sale. Tell me. Mr. Limber, Mr. Pruitt, just in case I haven't been fired, I quit. And my only Christmas wish to you is that you're never treated the way you treat others. Shall we? <laughs> mm. Next year. Oh, 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 oh. Santa, okay. Do we owe you anything? Ah, uh, just come see us again next year and be good, okay? Ah! Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Hey, Bert! Can I be best man? No, it's either him or Santa. Uh, David, would you mind asking Santa? Where did he go? That was real cool, the way that you planned that wallet on Mel. <laughs> Me? I thought it was you. Nice lift. I taught you well. What, are you kidding me? I couldn't do that. Well, then who? I couldn't resist. 
Mom? I never told you how I met your father. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was off duty, out of uniform. I saw a wallet in his back pocket. I reached for it, but he was always very sensitive back there, so he caught me. Ma, I can't him. believe you. <laughs> So, are you ready? Oh, I can't wait. Sing quickly, it's <laughs> almost you. midnight. Snowflakes are falling through the frosty air. This is so exciting. <laughs> Stockings are hanging on the chimney with care. It's time to make my Christmas wish. Uh-huh. A perfect Christmas day with you. Hey, wait a minute. What happened to my And Santa name? starts calling on Dasher, on Dancer, and all of that North Pole gibberish. Okay, I get it. I'll pop the question, and I know you'll answer when I tell you I love you. Well, you know. Oh, no fair. A perfect Christmas day. I bet you thought I'd say. The name of someone special who I'm loving all the way. Seems I got my Christmas wish. I got Trish. I got Trish. That is so dumb. I got Trish.